his title, the one that he captured by defeating Keith Thurman back in July of 2019, the last time Pacquiao was in the ring 25 months ago. Jabs landed, Pacquiao 23 of 168 for a 14% connect percentage. Ugas 32 of 111 for a 29% connect percentage. Ugas has not been overwhelmed by the moment, and he's saddling nicely. He's been very tactical in his offensive approach by using his jab and then letting his counter right hand go and also attacking the body of Pacquiao. Pacquiao has been able to dart in and out and is the one throwing more punches than that of Ugas, but he, he hasn't landed anything significant to Ugas, which would make Ugas, or which would hurt Ugas or be detrimental to Ugas moving forward in the fight. I think Manny's looking for a big shot to try to affect your Dennis Ugas. Now Pacquiao has a tight guard. He's trying to invite Ugas to him. So I think Pacquiao, he's like, instead of me attacking this guy, let me invite this guy to me and see if I can counter him. So the strategies change here in the fight as you're seeing Pacquiao, who's almost inviting Ugas to come forward. And now chance of let's go Manny here at Team Mobile Arena. High level excitement between two elite welterweights. There's a big right hand by Ugas and you heard that. Ugas got all of that, all, a lot of leverage behind that shot. Under a minute to go here in the sixth. Big right hand by Ugas. Ugas looks razor sharp tonight. Double jab for Ugas. Ugas was a sizable underdog coming into this fight. Manny Pacquiao was over a three to one favorite. But Ugas didn't pay attention to the odds, said it doesn't matter. None of that affects me. I know what I'm capable of. Couple left by Pacquiao. Final moments of the sixth. Ugas coming forward. He tags Pacquiao with the counter right hand. And Pacquiao trying to lunge in and get something. And that ends the sixth. We are halfway home.